Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration message. I want to first and foremost thank all of you for your love and your support. It means the world to me. <laughs> your likes, sharing, subscribing, that helps out this channel a ton and it helps get these messages out there so other people can see them. So again, thank you so much for that. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. We can tune into your guardian angels to see what messages are coming through. We can give clarification to some messages you might've already gotten on your own and also see what archangels want to communicate with you and what messages they have. You also have the option with me of getting an Akashic Records reading where we go into the records and we see what, you know, maybe from other timelines, maybe different iterations of your soul might be affecting you now. Maybe it'll help you understand a lesson a little bit deeper so that you can unlock your life and keep moving. Okay, so there is that. Let's see what we have. Turquoise. Ooh, this reminds me of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording this during summer, so maybe that's just where my mind is. Turquoise, awaken your empathy. The number three, four reduces to seven, which is an archangel number. It's sort of like what the archangels bring forward when you're on the right track. So this is saying when you have empathy for yourself and others, first of all, not everybody needs to struggle. This is that kind of thing, like um, an example would be, let's say you take everything really personally because maybe you're just hyper vigilant, you've been through a lot of abuse and that's just kind of how you are. You're always on edge and you're like, is that person a potential danger? Are they going to, you know, where are they going with that? And you start realizing, okay, it doesn't always have to be like that. Um, I can be on guard, but not have to be hyper vigilant. And if I have empathy for what somebody else is going through, uh, maybe they were just you know, not making excuses for bad behavior, but maybe somebody, that's just how they communicate or that's just, they don't mean anything by it, right? So this is part of awakening the empathy, but have an empathy for yourself as well. Yeah, some of you are going into victimhood here, okay? And uh, making too much. <sighs> okay, let me, let's break this down. So <laughs> there's a little bit of victimhood going on here and it's it's calling for help. But by making things worse than they are for some of you. So it's like putting out the warning of like, oh, woe is me, woe is me. So people come fawn all over you. Some of you need to hear that. And then others are being completely silent and not asking for help. Okay. That's where you need to have empathy not empathy, but you know, you need to care for yourself, <laughs> right? And um, if people can't help you right away, knowing that you are resourceful, there's all this messaging around that coming up, but this is really, it's usually the card of go with the flow. Don't overthink things. I think that's the simplistic way of putting it. Don't overthink things and realize everybody is trying to come from the best standpoint that they can. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.